हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑटोमेशन कम्युनिटी टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन एग्जांपल इन विच वी विल यूज ऑफ डिले टाइमर सो लेट्स लुक एट द एग्जांपल फर्स्ट एग्जांपल 32 व्हेन स्विच इज टर्न ऑन आउटपुट 1 एंड आउटपुट 2 विल बी ऑन एंड व्हेन स्विच इज टर्न ऑफ Output will be off after 10 seconds and output 2 will be off after 15 seconds. So instead of turning off output 1 and output 2 immediately after turning off switch 2, there is an off delay timer, a delay of 10 seconds and 15 seconds. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example and use of delay timer. This is the interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly, we'll go to PLC tags and default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So we have one input that is a switch and then we have two outputs, output 1 and this the address of output will be Q0.0 and we have one more output, I will click here and drag to here so the output 2 will be automatically fetched. Now I will click here on the program blocks and then main OB1, I will double click on it. And after that, we will here draw the ladder diagram. So I will collapse this and then zoom into it. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact for start button. Here, I will write ST or a switch here. We have already mentioned the name of this input as switch. And then we have outputs. For that, I will insert a normally, sorry, a coil. And then we have one more output that is output 2. So this is output 1 and this is output 2. So the output 1 will turn on and with that output 2 will also turn on when switch is turned on. And then when the switch is turned off, this output 1 and output 2 will immediately get off. But we need that this output 1 will turn off after 10 seconds and this output 2 will turn off after 15 seconds when switch is turned off. For that, we will use a timer operation here that is T off. So the preset value for this T off, this timer operation will be 10 seconds because when switch is turned off, output 1 will still remain on for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, it will turn off. Similarly, for output 2, we will use a T off operation or a timer, off delay timer, the preset value will be 15 seconds. As the output 2 should turn off after 15 seconds when switch is turned off. So when switch is turned on, output 1 and output 2 both turn, both turn on immediately when switch is turned on and when switch is turned off, outputs will not turn off. Because we have used a uh, timer operation that is T off for both these outputs. So T off, this T off, this timer will not turn off output 1 immediately after switch is turned off. But there will be a delay of 10 seconds that is known as off delay. So there is a delay in turning off the output and the time is 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, output 1 will be on, off. So when switch is turned off, Output 1 will turn off after 10 seconds and output 2 will turn off after 15 seconds. So let's start simulation here. Click on OK. Click on load. And then finish. After that, I will start CPU, click on OK, and then start monitoring. After that, I will switch to the project view where we need to create a new project. So let's create a new project here. 
click on create and let's wait for some time. I will expand these options and then go to simulation table and simulation table 1 and then I will right click here and then click on load project tax. So here the outputs and the input is here. So when I turn on switch output 1 and output 2 gets on and then when I turn off this switch Output 1 and Output 2 both remain on and after 10 seconds the Output 1 will turn off and after 15 seconds Output 2 will turn off. So Output 1 turns off then it will again wait for 5 seconds and after 5 seconds Output 2 also turns off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.